As much as we hate to admit it, guys want to be in a relationship. But when I asked them what they look for in a girlfriend, I got three overwhelming answers. Shameful, I know, but it's how men think. But looks aside, I still wanted to find out what makes the perfect girlfriend and find out if the cliched answers hold true and why. So guys like someone who's a great listener because guys by nature like to feel important and valued and like their opinions are being heard. So if a girl can carefully listen to what he's saying and give him feedback, then that's a characteristic that makes a great girlfriend. He'll be, he'll be comfortable and he'll feel like he's important. I just want to talk to your girl. If she's going to listen, then it's good. If she's always about herself and she just talks about herself. I'm going to get sick of that, right? It goes in one ear, out the other. Well, I don't think any guy would love when a girl just agrees with everything he says because that's just kind of a sign that she's insecure and that she's just trying to please him. So in contrast, when a girl can really challenge him and throw it back to him and give him a great conversation, that's something that's actually quite intriguing in a girlfriend. And that's another characteristic that guys really like. If you were the girl for you know, six, six to eight months, you're starting to get bored. And if the, the girl's not challenging and not you know, making it exciting, then you're going to start moving on to the next place. I'm always trying to push myself to get better. So um, it helps when someone's there trying to like do the same thing. It helps a lot. I don't know, like you always want somebody to like wants like the best thing for you and want you to keep going and achieve what you want, so it always helps, right? So there's a few reasons why guys like to have someone who has their own thing going on. First of all, it shows that she's talented and she has her own interests and she's busy. She's not gonna be hanging out with him, leaning on his shoulder all the time. And she's also going to give him enough space so that he can have time out with the guys once in a while. Um, again, I think that, that also keeps the guy interested. The girl's independent and, and doing her own thing. If the, if the girl's you know, trading on, on the guy's every word and, 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 and if the guy says jump and the girl says yes, yeah, she does it. Again, that's great in the beginning, but you know, a couple of months down the line, the, the relationship has been boring. If the girl's independent and wants to do her own things and you know, is meeting other people all the time, again, the boy's got to be interested to, to make sure that the girl's by his side. Independence is good as long as the girlfriend's not just like, oh, I don't want to be around you ever. Then it's kind of like, why the hell are we dating? <laughs> if she's not independent, like she's too clingy and dependent, then you get sick of her, right? Like she's always around. She's, you just don't want that in your life. You want to like kind of do your own thing and like have her do her own thing. So you want somebody who's like an individual, like who's a person, not like just always there type of thing, you know? So surprisingly, guys look for qualities that go beyond those assets that made them buy you that drink in the first place. But more importantly, those are the traits that are going to make the relationship work in the long run. Don't go away. After